Hello everyone, I'm Naya and a couple of weeks ago I did this to myself and you may be wondering like what what is it that you were doing? Um, I honestly don't know. I feel like I was just being crazy and I was doing something crazy to the outside of myself because I didn't feel right on the inside. It's completely normal to have these random feelings of low self-esteem or confusion or doubt. Sometimes we feel things that we can't even explain. Sometimes we can point out different things that trigger these emotions or sometimes there may not even be an identifiable trigger. There's this meme of this lady and she's like, it's okay not to be good. I don't know if you guys know that meme, but that's basically the vibe of this video. I personally didn't feel like sitting around feeling sorry for myself so I decided to quickly do what was necessary to turn everything around so that I didn't fall into another deep dark hole that was going to take me a month to come out of. I probably haven't even experienced the worst of mental breakdowns or sadness that is going to come into my life but I just wanted to make this video to help someone anyone and just as a reminder to myself that all things are temporary and that you'll never go through anything that you can't handle. So one of my most important ways that I regain my happiness and confidence after a little mental setback is through writing. Everyone has their different ways of dealing with things, but I feel like writing can be one of the most transformative things for everyone. Most people say to write down your feelings like when you're sad, but I honestly don't recommend that because you're just honing in on those bad feelings. And I honestly feel a lot sadder when I write down my feelings when I'm sad. There is a Bible verse that I really resonate with and it says, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things so instead of writing down your bad feelings write about good things you can write about things that you're grateful for you can make a list of things that make you happy make a list of people you love or things that you love about yourself one new thing that i wrote down about myself was my voice which is pretty like monotone and at times i would try to speak like more bubbly with more personality in my voice but i honestly just felt like i was trying to be someone that i'm not and i've just learned to love my voice as it is and if anyone has a problem with it at this point they can go period this is a very very important thing to do like if you're just having a mental breakdown and it is to let go and take a break from any and everything that is stressing you out so for me that was social media and youtube every time i opened any social media app or anytime i posted something i would just feel like people were judging me or i would feel like others were doing more than me or putting out better content than me and i usually don't even care about stuff like that but for some reason everything just felt off so I knew I needed to just distance myself. So I went to my settings. I turned off notifications for things like Snapchat and Instagram and YouTube. I just needed a few days to myself away from all of the comments and opinions from other people and not to mention the creepy sugar daddies in my DMs. I also feel like quarantine has really prevented me from being the creative and inspired person that I used to be. I used to get so much inspiration from just going out and seeing the world and physically communicating with others. But recently I've just felt so un inspired and unmotivated to do just about anything so that was another thing that was stressing me out but the more you stress over something the worse the problem is going to get so the best thing to do is literally stop thinking about it because when you least expect it the solution to the problem is going to come if you're dealing with like some type of anxiety literally don't use your mind because that is what's going to make everything worse just like i don't even know how to explain it just don't even think when you're sad <laughs> just let go and let the universe take control whoa i just got a little bit spiritual there so while letting go of all of my stressors i made sure to do things that made me feel good so this can be something as simple as watching your fave movie i don't know i finally got my bike so i used that to take rides and just clear my mind just spending time in the sunlight and in the warm weather makes me feel good. Also, instead of sitting around in my pajamas and glasses every day, sometimes I'll try to put on my contacts and put on something that I feel good in. Something that shows some skin or accentuates my body because it just allows me to focus on those things and love them about myself even more. Something new that I've been doing is meditating and some people think that you have to be like a Buddhist to meditate. Like, no. All you have to do is put on some calming music and just breathe and while doing this i like to think about the things that i want and just manifest them into my life but this time i actually accept the fact that i may not get these things immediately i've been teaching myself to just be more patient in regards to the things that i want because god's timing is perfect and speaking of i've just also been like trying to increase my prayers and just grow a closer relationship with god so that's pretty much all i have and just to recap i like to write meditate and pray let go of all of the things that 
stress me out and do things to make me feel good so yeah let's just cut on to the outro hello guys i hope you guys enjoyed that little video that i put together one day it was just like 2 a.m and i was like sitting in my bed and i just like started feeling low and i was like what is wrong with me and i just literally went into my bathroom and i started like putting eyeliner all over my eyes and i was like and by the way, the eyeliner that I used did not come off with the tears. So that is some good eyeliner. I was just not in a right mindset. And I was like, no, 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 no. So I had to turn everything around. And I basically just did the things that I talked about in this video. Honestly, I just want to reach at least one person with this video. And I'm honestly going to start changing up my editing styles. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I have so many video ideas planned out now. I want to try to upload two times a week, but uploading once a week is already so hard. <sighs> okay, but anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.